This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Today's video is brought to you by Raycon. So yesterday, a prisoner swap took place between the United States and Russia. You may have heard, obviously, you heard about it. Uh, Brittany Griner, WNBA player and former Baylor College basketball standout. Like an amazing, legendary player. And this video is not going to be qualifying whether it was a, a, the right choice. Uh, I definitely believe that it's okay to question uh, whether or not the, the individual who was let free, uh, who we held, should have been let free. I think that's okay. But, but I have enough faith in the Biden administration, having them having all the facts that I don't have, that I'm going to defer to the judgment that was made. But the right wing Republicans collectively lost their minds over this because there's another gentleman being held by Russia named Paul Whelan, who served in my United States Marine Corps. And they're doing this value judgment thing that he is more worthy of release because he's a hero who served in the Marine Corps and she's just a professional athlete or a black lesbian, as you're gonna hear Tucker Carlson talk about. And I want to push everyone away from making that value judgment. Brittany Griner is absolutely just as equal and worthy of release and worthy as being part of a prisoner swap as the bad conduct discharge Marine who was kicked out of my United States Marine Corps for attempted larceny, for stealing someone's social security number, for writing almost a dozen bad checks. It takes something to be discharged bad conduct, a BCD, a big chicken dinner, they call it in the Marine Corps. It takes something. It's not just, oh, you, you smoked weed and you got kicked out. That would be like an administrative discharge. But the right wing is not going to let you know all that. They're just going to put the picture of him in his dress blues. And, oh, it's the heroification of anybody who served in uniform. We're going to talk about all of this. I got some clips. We're going to read some tweets from Tommy Laren, from Marjorie Taylor Greene, a video from Tucker Carlson. Before that, though, a word from today's sponsor, Raycon. As we approach the end of the year, does your mind begin to race with everything that must get done before you can properly enjoy the holidays? All the loose ends at work, all the errands before you travel or before your guests arrive, and then all the presents. Ugh. <laughs> How does it all get done? With Raycon. Raycon's lineup of wireless earbuds, headphones, and speakers has you covered for every conference call, every gathering, and every gift. All Raycon products offer premium sound, a ton of useful features, and up to 54 hours of battery life. With their almost custom comfortable fit, I wear Raycon's everyday earbuds every day. They're not coming out. I wear them when I'm working, when I'm out, and when I'm working out. Click the below description link or go to buyraycon.com slash dollamore to get 15% off site-wide with code HOLIDAY. And for December, Raycon is holding a countdown to Christmas with new pop-up deals every day. Keep your ears peeled. Think about the benefits of Raycon products during the holidays alone. You can kick off the Yuletide shindig with one of their excellent speakers or tune out obnoxious relatives with a pair of noise isolating earbuds. Raycons also start out at half the price of other premium audio brands for those gift purchases. And their site offers free shipping, free returns, buy now, pay later, and 30 day happiness guarantee. So this year, allow Raycon to make your presents many and your troubles few. Head to buyraycon.com slash dollamore or simply click the link in the description below to get 15% off site-wide with code HOLIDAY at buyraycon.com slash dollamore. Tis the season for better sound.
So let's start with a tweet of my own. <laughs> Yesterday, in response to conservative dum dum Clay Travis, well, he tweeted this. We'll just read that first. Joe Biden traded a guy called the Merchant of Death for a WNBA player and left a U.S. Marine behind in Russian prison in, in the process. Uh, Biden's a complete and total disaster on everything, he says. So I retweeted with, uh, quote tweeted, I guess it's called. Uh, number one, it's Marine with a capital M, not Marine. But you wouldn't, you don't know that because you didn't serve. Clay Travis, more of a jab than anything. Number two, the more substantive issue that I took uh, to Twitter, the, the, the U.S. Marine in question isn't a noble hero. Paul Whelan was kicked out of my Marine Corps after a bad conduct discharge for larceny. I was incorrect, actually. It's attempted larceny. Uh, not saying... I'm not saying he doesn't deserve release, but let's not play that value game with Marine versus WNBA player. And because I like to bring receipts, here on screen is um, an appeal that he made regarding his conviction. A military judge sitting as a special court-martial convicted the appellant, consistent with the pleas of attempted larceny, three specifications of dereliction of duty, making a false official statement, wrongfully using another social security number, and 10 specifications making and uttering, uh, and uttering checks without having sufficient funds in his account uh, for payment and in violation of these particular articles in the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Uh, he was sentenced to 60 days of restriction, reduction to pay grade E4 to corporal, uh, and a bad conduct discharge. And the uh, convening authority approved the sentence as a judge. He was trying to get an appeal to either have this thrown out or reduce sentence. And this particular um, proceed, uh, proceeding found, no, this was proper. This was legal. This was fair. This wasn't harsh. So we can dispense with the, oh, the lionization of this man because he served. I'm not special because I served in the Marine Corps. Neither is he. He's no more worthy or deserving of being a part of a prisoner swap, <coughs> excuse me, than Brittany Griner. You wouldn't know that if you read uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene's tweet. Another reason to impeach Biden, she says. The president of the United States traded Russian terrorist arms dealer, Victor Bout, left a U.S. Marine in Russian jail and brought home a professional basketball player. How many people will this guy now kill because Biden set him free? Some of that is valid questions. Are, excuse me, valid questions. But impeach Biden because he made an executive decision? A literal executive decision, being the head of the executive branch? A lot you saw on Twitter this is where this all kind of played out for me, was watching conservatives, why didn't Biden drop the ball, didn't get this guy out, when John Bolton, the former uh, national security advisor for Donald Trump, said Donald Trump had an opportunity to get this guy out and didn't do it. Donald Trump was in office for two years during this guy's imprisonment, and he's still there. So if there's failure involved, it's not just Biden. But th their golden god, their dear leader, mm, no, he did nothing wrong. Tommy Lahren, the little Nazi Barbie, said this, I wonder if Brittany Griner will sing and stand for the national anthem now that the United States has compromised national security to free her. It's all about the song. Every time it's about a song, whether she'll not kneel for the national anthem not realizing that she has a right as an American to not sing the song or like the song or pledge allegiance to the flag, to a piece of cloth. All of which I believe are weird. Pledging allegiance to the flag. What? And I served in the Marine Corps, proudly. It's not something I'm ashamed of. 
You're not going to catch me pledging allegiance to a piece of cloth with some stripes and some stars. But it's all about symbols for them. Virtue signaling about their symbols. Tucker Carlson took it a step further. Demeaning her to she's a black lesbian and that's why they, they passed over the noble United States Marine for a black lesbian. Watch this bigot parade. So at this point, we can assume the obvious. The Biden administration chose Brittany Griner over Paul Whelan, the basketball player over the Marine facing 16 years. There was only room for one, the lifeboat, and the Marine got left behind. Well, why'd they make that choice? Well, you should know that Whelan is a Trump voter, and he made the mistake of saying so on social media. He's paying the price for that now. Brittany Griner is not. She's got very different politics. Brittany Griner despises the United States. She's been very vocal about that. This country is so repellent and immoral that two years ago she said, quote, I honestly feel we should not play the national anthem during our basketball season. She hates the country so much she doesn't want to hear its anthem. That's the kind of position that gets you rewarded by Joe Biden. Hate America? Perfect. We'll free the guy who sold weapons to drug cartels to get you out early. So there's that. And then there's the matter of identity, which is central to equity. Brittany Griner is not white, and she's a lesbian. Now, those facts might seem irrelevant to you. We hope they do seem irrelevant, because they are. So irrelevant to Tucker Carlson that he makes it a feature of what he's talking about. So irrelevant to this colorblind, oh, I don't even see sexual identity. I, I don't even see uh, gender identity. I don't even see race. Oh, <laughs> but I'm going to talk about it ad nauseum. These people don't see in shades of gray. They can't see that someone like me who criticizes the country loves the country. And the reason I criticize is because I want our country to be better. They, they cannot see that. It is anathema to them. That's their blind spot. They can't see that criticizing the national anthem itself, the song, with the, the other verses that we're not taught in school are all about recapturing slaves, putting them back in bondage. Francis Scott Key was a slave owner, an enslaver of human beings. And before, before you start ranting and raving about how that was just the way it was back then, no, it wasn't. There were many contemporaries of these individuals who believed in their hearts and their souls that enslavement was immoral, that it was wrong. Go read a book about John Adams or Samuel Adams. Brittany Griner is not less than. She's not less than a Marine. She's not less than someone who loves the national anthem. They're not better than her because they pledge allegiance to the piece of cloth that represents our country. It's gross. It's bigoted. And obviously it's bigoted from the white supremacy fireside chat nightly on Fox News. It's gross and good. I'm glad she's out. And it's a bummer that Paul Whelan is still finds himself incarcerated in Russia. Absolutely. Trump supporter or not, we should be fighting to get our citizens out of incarceration, especially in unjust situations, without doubt. And the only reason I point out his, his criminal record and his bad conduct discharge is to dispense with this hero myth. But as always... I'd love to know what you think. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media. You can read the tweets <laughs> at dollamore, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, at dollamore. That's where you can find me. And if you appreciate what I do, my sometimes nuanced takes, you can click the join button below, become a channel member, help support and produce what I do right here. 
You can also go over to patreon.com slash I doubt a podcast. You can also go to dollamore.info and buy, uh, buy the merch that we sell. We've got a, I don't care what the founding fathers said, a new design. We've got uh, this, fight poverty, not the poor. Uh, we've, we've got abolish the filibuster, a brand new design, which is great. Anyway, uh, every purchase goes a long way to supporting and producing what we do. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.